going to link my footage by simply right-clicking and opening it in After Effects Composition. I have the trial version of Payne. I activated the gold trial version too, so that way I can track stuff that is more organic and in motion. So on their website, you can go here and just press 14 days test. And if you want to buy it for the gold one, oh, it's an euro. So in US dollars, it's uh, 164.44 US dollars to get the gold version. 215 Canadian dollars. That's 215 coffees. Since I don't have any tracking markers on my t-shirt and it's all white, it's a hard one to track. It's really not an easy one. So maybe we're gonna have some bad surprises. If you wish to do something like that, maybe add some little stickers or tracking markers and it's gonna make your job so much easier. I'm used to using Mocha in After Effects a lot to track. I just started trying Fade In and so far I really like it. it it's pretty efficient and it's really straightforward. So if you just started tracking, it's really easy to understand. When you open it, there's like a little box like that. So I placed it here. First, you need to click new background and since there's already a composition, uh, I'm just going to select the one with the same name, click on it, and then you add a track. That's where you see the difference between the regular version and the gold version, because when you try the trial, at first you only have these two options, like you can make the square tracking and you can track uh, something that is not moving a lot. Once you activate the gold trial, then you can use something more in movement, you see here that it indicates me how many frames it's going to track. So we're going to start by using the four point rectangle one. And I tried with the paintbrush one a few times before and it didn't really work out so well because of what I'm trying to track right now without tracking markers. It's a very hard subject. So I hope it's gonna work out okay. Oh yeah. So now I'm going to go in project and I will import a picture. And your first reflex would be to just drag it there if you, you're used to After Effects. But you have to right click here and exchange insert footage. And then you go and you find your image and it opens another box here. So now you can use the corners and you can place it better. And you can also turn it, which is nice because like usually you would go here and you would choose a rotation tool and you would turn it, but <coughs> it seems to be working fine. So if you look at it, Pretty legit. I think it's very easy to use. I had a 50-50 success rate. You can use masks and 3D. I decided to track my friend's face on mine. It's like super creepy. <laughs> kind of like Silence of the Lamb. I think it's really worth trying. It's super fun and especially if you want to add your logo to a wall in a game or something, it's like super easy to do. I'm gonna leave a bunch of tutorials in the about section and let me know what you think about it. I know my examples were not like the best ever but hey it's free. <laughs> Have a nice day bye bye!